Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, where you are. I hope everything is okay. I hope life has met you well. Well, today I'm going to talk about the Cybertruck's front. Um, of course, the Cybertruck has been out for a while, and we've been hearing a lot of stuff about the Cybertruck, obviously, but I don't think we've had any discussion about the Cybertruck's uh, front and how this is actually a game changer and this is going to be designed for all future electric cars eventually okay um so just so you know i'm actually a manufacturing engineer if you're new to this channel and i've been a manufacturing engineer for about 15 years now i actually <laughs> actually have a degree in manufacturing engineer engineering and so I know um, a little bit about how this process works. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to not, not waste your time. I'm going to go straight to the, uh, um, by the end of this slide, I think you're going to agree with me, no doubt, that this design that um, the Cybertruck has as far as the front is going to be what all electric cars will have, whether or not it's a, a car or a truck. Okay. So I'm going to start the slide. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to make myself disappear so, I, so you guys can get a full screen. So let's, let's, just, let's just start it up. Loading, loading, loading. Here we go. Okay. So I guess this, this is the Cybertruck. This is a little symbol here that says in the understanding it. Okay. So this this is one of the things when, the, when um, Elon Musk launched the Cybertruck, People saw this front and like, wow, what is this? We don't like this. It's ugly. It doesn't make any sense. Okay, so just bear with me. By the end of the slide, I think you this this is gonna make a lot of sense, and you, you're gonna you're gonna realize that there's no doubt in my mind. There is absolutely no doubt that this is gonna be what all electric cars are gonna be um, using. Okay, there's a slide here, and um, I'll just kind of show you that I the I'm this this much confidence. You know, we have the the blackberry remember the blackberry and then now of course everybody using the iphone format which is basically a touch screen okay the bottom here we have the f-150 you see how the f-150 um you have the grills you have the headlights and everything and of course elon musk says enough with that we're going to go with this okay i'll we'll come back to this to the end but i just want to kind of uh, um, um show you where where we're going with this where this technology technology is going okay so this this is the front right this is the front that that's making everybody excited and of course there's that peak in the, in the top too but this is the front so how did it, how did this whole thing you know first of all the the trucks that we have right now how did it all start okay so let's go i'm gonna take you back in history a little bit okay so this is the um the model t now if you notice um gasoline cars always had a radiator okay right here and the radiator was always in the front because that's where you used to cool the engine. Well, once you have the radiator, you got to put the headlights. You can't put it in the front of the radiator because it's going to block the, the air going going through. So you have to put one on this side and one, one on the other side to kind of um, um, spread out the, the light in front of you. Okay. Um, this format is what started the whole thing this simple format right here you had a radiator and then you had to put a, a headlight here and a headlight there and then now we got used to it now now we say okay that's looks like a human being it's got two eyes and that's the way it should be all right take a look at this picture and then you could see where um years later years and years later we've got the famous ford 150 let's look at this we still got the grill in the middle you know and then we we've got the the lights on each side because you know we still we still don't want to put the grill the the headlights right in front of the grill we don't want to do that so we got these fancy lights and and by the way we'll come back to this later um this is one of those feel good you know i want a nice design so so it'll feel good so i have all these 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 uh funny shapes and everything so it makes you feel good you know and you see all the, all this the stuff back here um mind you these are not functional but it makes you feel good okay all right, so let's let's keep on going. So, so Elon Musk says, "Enough of that. I'm going to go straight from here to here." Okay. Now, so so let's take a look at this. We mentioned now, electric cars don't have a grill, right? So, so we're not going to put it there. 
Um, we'll go back to this later. In, in the beginning, some electric cars had fake, fake grills. And fake grills is like fake news. Who wants to drive around with a fake, with a fake um, um, car? It makes it cheap because it's fake. Okay, so we we're not gonna put no no grill on our electric car because it doesn't need a grill. It doesn't need doesn't need that big opening. Okay. The other thing, the headlights. Well, in the past, because of the big grill, you always put the headlights on each side, like a, like we just saw in the Model T, you know, like in the truck. You know, you got the headlights on the truck, but now. If you notice, in the past we had what they call incandescent light bulbs, okay, which were were by design, you know, they they, they come from one spot and spread it out. Yeah, now in theory you could put like multiple um, incandescent bulbs here. You put like four or five or six across, but then you're gonna you're gonna be in front of the 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 grill, so you can't do that. So so it made sense just to put one on one side, and one on the other side. Well, guess what? Now if you notice that all pretty much all trucks now and all cars now we, we're using led lights okay led lights is a different technology you know it doesn't need to be uh focused on one side you could you, you could you could have a very thin in fact if you look at the one the 150 truck you see the this this shape right here these are led lights so it, it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be a big square or a big circle like in the past you could be it could be very thin so let's go to the cyber truck now well this is this is what Elon Musk has been doing, and he's trying to tell you guys something. And we've seen this before, and I'll show you. When you drive, you don't want to see, you don't want to have lights in the left or the right, and then leave the middle, the middle where you where you're supposed to be seeing. You leave that blank. No, you want to see in front of the whole um, um, car. So it makes sense to have LED light that goes across the whole front because that's what you want to see. You know, why put lights on one side and put lights on the other side and then leave the, the middle part, the main part, empty? It doesn't make any sense. Okay? This is just like that BlackBerry versus the iPhone type thing. Okay? It doesn't make any sense. So now, hopefully, it's making sense now. This is an electric car. It doesn't need a grill. So guess what? It doesn't have a grill. It uses LED lights. And the LED lights doesn't have to be circular, a big fat circle on, on the left and the right as in the past because it is an LED light. I want to see in front of the whole car. So let's keep on going. It, we've seen this before. You remember the first um, Tesla Model S? It had a fake grill. And I could tell that just drove Elon Musk in a wall. He, he just couldn't handle it because everybody wanted a grill. Why? Because that's what we're used to. Okay. So he teased us. He said, you know what? The new Model 3, we're going to take that grill because guess what? We are an electric car company. We're not like the other companies who have electric car and gasoline car. We only have electric car. and we, we take pride of electric car. We're going to show you guys that electric car is the way to go, which they have been doing. It accelerates fast. It has range. It's smooth. It's easy to operate. And, and it's maintenance free. You only, you only have basically three parts, the motor, the controller, and the battery. So heck, we're not going to follow you guys. We're going to lead the way. And, and guess what? We don't need a grill. So it, so it took the grill off, okay? We've seen this. And then, of course, now people are accepting it. Yeah, it's an electric car. Uh, it doesn't need a grill. In fact, a lot of companies now are making it deliberately to give you this blank face because it's an electric car. Other people would know it's an electric car. So we've, we've been seeing this, all right? So, again, this is, makes sense now. All right. This is we've seen what happened to the the Model S with the Model Model Three, and then not and not only that. Now Elon Musk is saying, "Hey, I want to see in the front. I want to have lights in the front of the whole thing because that's what we want to see." Okay, so I'm going to spread it all out because so so you guys could see better. This makes total sense. And guess what? From a manufacturing standpoint, it's less material. You know, less less um, 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 circles, less grills, and all that stuff. All that stuff is going to cost you. This is what you call a minimalist design. If you don't need it, throw it away. That's that's where everything is going. It's minimalist design. Of course, you have to back the back is the same the same way. Okay. All right. So I had to put this here. I've been I saw this on the internet. You you probably seen this too. Um, and if you guys please do me a favor. Send this to Elon Musk and make sure that he is not going to cave to this crap. 
I call it crap because this this is people who don't understand this technology. Okay, yes. For now, of course, if you saw Elon Musk driving in in somewhere in California and of and supposedly at the the edges of the lights, the left and right, they had some kind of lights like this. That's because right now the the DOT the specification is is not set up for these um, lights that are going all through, but LED lights, which are obvious now because everybody's turning to LED, LED lights are capable of producing the same amount of lights all across the spectrum. But because the specification right now, and this is what I'm just, I'm assuming this is what's going on. The specification right now is not ready. Maybe the, 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 the uh, specification says something like, well, thou shalt have um, a light on the left and thou shalt have a light on the right. And it's supposed to have so many... Um, um, brightness because it says left and right and nobody's ever thought about having a light all across because it's never done it's never been done before because for gasoline cars as i mentioned before it's got this big grill in the middle and you can't go across so this please give this to um Elon Musk say tell him not to cave in to people's people uh people just they just don't they just don't understand the technology and they they, they have to have this these two separate lights because you know, and if if Elon Musk comes out with this design, I will cancel my order because this is just crap. You know, it doesn't make no sense. I mean, he's he gets it and they should cave in. That's that's how come the original Model S had that big fat black bumper because people wanted to have a bumper. Well, there is no there is no black. I'm sorry, not a bumper, a grill. People wanted to have a grill on the Model S, but there is no grill on an electric car. That's why he got rid of it. Same thing with this. So that's enough of that. I just had a, that's my little pet peeve with this design. I hope it never comes up and I'm going to put a big fat X on it. Okay. All right. So again, this is some, some discussion again. I'm not going to talk too much about this, but I will talk about one thing here. I'm going to lay it with the F-150. Here you go. Just so you know, um, there is no hood on electric car. The engine is between the wheels. So there's not this big bulk. So it makes sense to go straight up from the from the front all the way up, okay? And then you go back down again. You remember the El Camino and the, uh, what was it, the Honda Bridge Line? So you need that support. You need this extra body here to help support the uh, frame. So that's all he's doing. And again, from a manufacturing standpoint, it's going to be less, because it's less, less, um, less, less items. Of course, we've heard about the, the um, straight pans and everything, so you don't have to use a big press just basically use a brake a brake is something that they use to bend sheet metals okay but that's that's it i mean um people like trucks people like the space it's bigger it's higher so uh, i'm telling you this is going to be a huge seller okay and i'm gonna i'm gonna um keep on going so so you guys could you see this with no doubt blackberry we all wanted a blackberry but you see all these little buttons here? These little buttons here cost money. You have to line them up. You have to fix them, and then they stick and everything. And so that's why the manufacturer said, hey, we can make everything with a touch screen. People didn't like it. Remember, people said, oh, I, don't, I need some textile. I need to feel the buttons. But guess what? You have more flexibility. You can just change the program. Okay? We've seen this before, too. This is not anything new. If you don't believe me, if you say, hey, Electro Demo, Yes, you, you're a manufacturing engineer, but you don't know what you're talking about. Well, we've seen it before. Remember this? This is where it's going, guys. This is a Mercedes-Benz interior. Look at all these buttons. you got to manufacture all these buttons. you got to put all these buttons in, in there with, with either human beings or a robot. The buttons are going to stick. And it, guess what? If you want to change the change the design another year, you got to go through all this stuff and then and uh, put a different uh, style. With here, it's minimalist. Everything is just one touch screen. Everything is gone. It makes sense. Guess what? It's just like the BlackBerry versus the iPhone. It makes sense. And guess it's going to catch on. Just like the front is going to catch on because it's going to save the manufacturer's money. It is, this is manufacturing 101. That's why I call it Cybertruck 101 manufacturing. So here you go. Now that I said all that, does this make sense now? You could see how electric cars in the future are going to look like this. I guarantee you. We don't have a grill. So we don't need one, okay? All this fancy stuff here is it, it it's just extra manufacturing, okay? And it's the same thing with the interior. It's, it, we we've seen the theme, 
That's why the interior of the Model 3 is very simple. That's why the, the Model 3 has no, no grill. So, so this, this is the future. All electric cars, cars and trucks are going to look like this, the front. Headlights across the whole front because we want to see and no grill. Everything else is just extra cost. So I hope you guys like the, the, um, my clip on my Cybertruck. And again, if you, I've got more and the next one's going to be on the windows. People are saying that the window cracks because of fatigue. They kept on practicing. It was fatigue. That's not the reason. Uh, but you're going to have to um, stay tuned. And again, if you haven't subscribed, please click the button. And I hope you guys have a nice day. Thank you.